you guys that? I don't know, I thought it was cute. Anyway, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, hello. My name is Rachel, otherwise known as Mary Ann, and on my channel I make sewing tutorial videos and fashion videos pertaining to Lolita fashion. So, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a simple Lolita skirt. Um, I based this off of this here Innocent World skirt. Um, I kind of just copied the basic idea of how this skirt is structured and just kind of guesstimated the measurements and everything. But so I'll show you guys how to do that on your own. So yeah. All right, so I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get started. First, we're going to need two rectangles, the width of your waist measurement times three divided by two. And they could be however long you want them to be. With the right sides together, sew along one edge. With one side sewed together, now you have a really long rectangle. Next, we're going to baste along the top to gather it. To make our gathering more even, baste along the top twice. Now take either the two top threads or the two bottom threads and gently tug to gather the fabric. Now to make the waistband, First, mark the length of your waist measurement. Take your elastic, however long you want it to be, stretch your elastic past your marked waist measurement as far as it can go and mark that spot. This is how long your waistband needs to be. Now cut it along that measurement. For this next part, fold your waistband in half to however wide you want it to be, plus an extra half inch or so for seam allowance. Measure and pin along the length of your waistband to ensure that you cut it straight. Now make about a half inch fold on one side of your waistband and iron that down. And on the other side of your waistband, make about 5 eighths of an inch to an inch fold and iron that down. Now fold your waistband almost in half, but make sure that the smaller folded edge is overlapping in the middle of the larger folded edge. We want these two ends overlapping like this for when we sew the waistband onto the skirt. And make sure you iron this down too. Now it's time to match the length of the skirt to the length of the waistband. On only one half of the skirt, you're going to undo the ruffles because that's where the elastic is going to be. And the other half of the skirt is going to be the front of the skirt. And don't forget to leave about a half inch of seam allowance on either end of the waistband. I actually did this step before I ironed the folds in the waistband, but it doesn't really matter what order you do this part in. Now with your folded waistband, now it's time to pin it onto the skirt. Pin the smaller folded edge on the skirt first, right sides together. At this moment, I realized I completely forgot to put the interfacing on the waistband. You don't have to do this step, but I just really wanted to because it makes the waistband a bit more stiff and it looks a bit better.
Okay, now that that's all fixed, now it's time to sew the waistband onto the skirt. First, you're going to want to baste it, which this helps secure the waistband onto the skirt without having to do it perfectly the first time. And it makes it easier to sew it on the second time. Note how wobbly the baste seam is to how clean and straight the second seam is. Now before we sew the other side of the waistband onto the skirt, we're going to first finish off the two ends. Fold it inside out at the halfway mark that we ironed earlier. Sew that down. Trim the end a little bit. and fold it right side out again. Now we're going to make an invisible seam on the top of the skirt right underneath the waistband seam. When we sew along that line, the idea is to catch the other side of the waistband that's underneath. This part's honestly pretty tricky, so it's okay to go slow and take your time. I probably should have pinned it at this step, but oh well. And this is what it should look like. You can't see the seam on the outside of the skirt, but on the inside, hopefully it caught the other end. Now it's time to insert the elastic. If you are in fact a wizard and manage to catch the entire length of the waistband in one go, then you're probably gonna have to seam rip a little tiny hole. But for me, I missed one or two spots, so I will be inserting the elastic through those. With a safety pin clipped to one end of your elastic, start feeding it through. Now carefully unclip the safety pin from the elastic and feed it back through to the hole. Feel around for the end of the elastic and feed it through a little bit to where you want it. Pin it there in place. Feel around for the other end of the elastic and carefully feed it through to where it stretches. Pinch that end tightly to keep it there and pin it in place. Make sure that the pin is going through the elastic so that it doesn't come undone. Now we're gonna sew down the two ends of the elastic where it's pinned. You can totally leave your elastic like this, but since my elastic is quite a bit smaller than the waistband, I'm going to encase it a little bit more on each side.
Now it's time to install the zipper. I'm using an invisible zipper, but any zipper will do. First, unzip it, turn it over so that the right side of the zipper is facing the right side of the skirt. Using a zipper foot, sew it down. The zipper I have is too long, so I just stopped sewing at the point where I wanted it to end. Zip the zipper back up to make double extra sure that you're going to sew the right side of the zipper to the right side of the skirt on the other side too. Beautiful. The end of my zipper was way too long, so I'm going to trim it and finish it off. And now we're going to finish closing off the rest of that side of the skirt, starting at the bottom. And now we're going to finish it off with a rolled hem. Ta-da! Now you have a Lolita skirt. I added lace to the bottom of my skirt, but you can do whatever you want with yours. It's really handy to know how to make a skirt. It'll help you out if you ever want to alter something or just add something extra to your wardrobe. I also added a hook and eye clasp at the waistband above the zipper. You can also put a button there if you want to. You can also make a matching bow, add waist ties, or even make ruffles. The possibilities are endless. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video, and now you know how to make a skirt. That's not a circle skirt. Thank you so much for watching. Um, leave comments, like, subscribe if you feel like it. Um, if you have any ideas for more sewing tutorials or questions you have, please comment and I'll see if I can make a video for you. Thank you so much. Have a great day. That's disgusting. Hey, I'm trying to film a video. Oh, I know, you're gonna have to move. I know, it's upsetting. Yeah.